My name is Johan Loy. I'm partner of the law firm Sand Loy and Partner located in Copenhagen. I'm the gala member for Denmark. Now I'd like to give you a brief introduction into advertising law in Denmark. Denmark is a member of the European Union, a part of the Nordic region in the European Union, and we have a marketing practice act covering both B2B and B2C advertising. Um, we are heavily influenced by EU directives and the law is thus heavily harmonized in accordance with EU regulations. Uh, we have a general clause that covers all marketing activity and as such it will develop through time and uh, court, uh, court decisions. We also have regulations about spamming which is illegal uh, we also have regulations about comparative advertising and sweepstakes that are generally legal to the extent that the advertisement is fair and transparent and offers the uh, correct and relevant information to the consumer. The, the Marketing Practice Act is um, guided by the Consumer Ombudsman, who is one of the first consumer ombudsmans to be uh, appointed uh, in the world and uh, he issues guidelines for interpretation of the Marketing Practice Act. We have uh, sector-specific self-regulation which means we do have self-regulation within al alcohol advertisement, we have self-regulation within pharmaceutical advertisement but no specific and general um, uh, self-regulation body. In relation to television advertisement, there is a um, board that decides on the relevance and legality of, of television advertisement. The two Danish national television channels are divided so that one channel is not allowed to have advertisement, but the other one does. Um, product placement is for the time being not legal. The consumer ombudsman is very concerned for the time being about hidden advertisement and advertisement through blocks and a recent decision stated that it is not, a le it's not legal for advertisers to actually request bloggers to write about their products and uh, it is expected that he will issue further guidance in the future.